Hi everyone and welcome back. Okay, so I've got four very simple, quick and easy sketches for you today. All done in my A5 sketchbook. Um, the idea behind all of these sketches is they're uh, designed for beginners and people that haven't got much time. Um, some of these sketches only took half an hour, others were just over an hour. Um, and some of them sort of in between, so they don't take very long at all. Now this video is going to be a plug for Patreon, so if you don't want to listen or watch just click off the video now um, or if you just want to enjoy um, seeing the sketches and the drawings just mute the volume um, because I just want to say that all four of these sketches are over on my Patreon channel and they're all full length videos for you to draw along with and learn from as well there's lots of different techniques covered in all four of these videos you'll learn quite a lot actually um, new techniques, new methods even new equipment that you may not have used before. All of the videos are in real time. Um, you see everything step by step with full narration, no voiceovers or any time lapse videos or anything like that. It's all there for you to see nice and easy and draw along with without any problems whatsoever. And of course, I'll always be on hand over on Patreon to answer any of your questions and give you um, any help or any advice that you need. And it only costs $4 a month. In fact, you can actually join for $1. Um, that'll give you access to all of the reference photos for all of the drawing projects. You'll see the finished drawing that I do from all of the reference photos and the projects. You'll get access to the community section, which is absolutely fantastic. We've got some fantastic people over there. Really helpful, supportive, non-judgmental community of people um, of all levels, all ages. And you'll get full access to that so you can post your work there and join in with all the chat and everything. Um, a lot of people are making friends over there. It's a really good place to be. Um, I mean, if you want to connect with like minded people, you know, that enjoy drawing and watercolours, etc., it really is um, a great place to be. So for just one dollar, you can get quite a lot actually. Now, for four dollars, the four dollar tier level, you'll get full access to all of the content. And that includes access to all of the drawing projects and painting projects, mixed media projects, full access to all of the drawing tips videos, the watercolour tips videos, um, the Q&A videos, all of the vlogs. There's just there's probably just too much to mention here. I mean, you'll get a lot of content uh, for just $4 a month. Um, I think there's over 200 videos, possibly more, um, on there which I've built up over the last few years of being on Patreon and you'll get access to all of them, every single one of them, right from the very first one. So as soon as you join for $4, you can just binge watch <laughs> for the first month um, and try and catch up with everything. There's so much content there. Um, in fact, some of the people out of the goodness of their own heart pay a lot more than $4 um, just voluntarily. They say that the site is well worth more than the $4 every month. Um, and they learn a lot and they just want to support the channel which is really kind of them and you're not committed to anything at all um, you just pay your four dollars and the whole site will open up to you and you can just leave whenever you want you know it's not like an annual subscription or anything like that you can just pay month by month as you go um, every month there is new content put there there's always a full-length drawing project for you um, and depending how long that project is, usually I get time to maybe do a watercolour or a couple of um, sketchbook corner videos, which all of these videos that you're seeing now, these are all from the sketchbook corner section um, on Patreon, which I kind of designed, um, like I mentioned at the start of the video. For people that haven't got a lot of time to um, participate in the 30 to 50 hour long drawing projects, you know, they just maybe have a couple of hours a week or something to spare. Um, for their artwork so these sketchbook corner projects are ideal for people like that plus they're also geared towards um, beginners as well so some of them are very very easy um, and it's like I say you all learn a lot from them a lot of new techniques and a lot of the techniques that I use are very unique to me and my channel um, I mean I started drawing and painting over 30 years ago now way back in the day before YouTube existed 
Um, so we didn't have the luxury of watching videos to pick up, you know, drawing tips and techniques and things like that. So a lot of them I had to invent myself. Although, you know, they have been copied by other channels and it does get frustrating sometimes because they don't reference, you know, where they learn these um, techniques from. But it's like I say, you know, I've come up with a lot of these techniques. Um, so they're very unique to my channel and um, I talk about them a lot more over on Patreon you know, with the full video demonstrations and explanations, you know, on how to actually do a lot of these techniques that I've come up with. Now, I hope that doesn't sound arrogant, actually. It probably does, doesn't it? Saying that I've come up with these techniques and everything. But um, I have been watching a few videos quite recently, in fact, and over the past um, couple of years on YouTube um, with people saying similar things. You know, they get frustrated at the fact a lot of these bigger channels um, go around stealing information and ideas and techniques and methods from them and um, they get way more subs than they do and yet they're the originators of the idea and, and the techniques and it's quite clear to see as well you know when you check the dates and things like that on some of the videos you think yes you did come up with that idea didn't you and that person has copied you haven't they and you know I'm beginning to see that a lot so it was just something that was on the forefront of my mind because it's kind of happening to me as well. And I do feel sorry for a lot of creators out there. They're really putting the hours in, creating great content and helping people. And then a lot of these other channels just go around and steal the content from them without referencing them. Um, I just think it's very unfair, really, and, and not a very decent thing to do. I mean, the least they could do is be honourable and reference their sources, you know, where they got those techniques from in the first place. So, um, yeah, sorry about that. That's rant over. <laughs> um, but, it, I mean, if you've got a, a, a small YouTube channel like mine, you know, you can probably relate to what I'm saying. You know, a lot of the other channels do go around and steal content and it, and it can get very, very frustrating um, sometimes, you know, particularly when you're working hard and putting the hours in. So, anyway, let's let, <laughs> let's change the subject. I didn't want the video to be about uh, that at all, actually. Okay, so that's three sketches done there so far. Now the final one um, is actually from a vlog that I made for Patreon um, on one of my country walks, and I came across this scene. It was very early in the morning, and I think the temperature was something like minus one. There was a lot of mist around. And I just looked over this gateway and there was this beautiful scene um, just looking at me and I thought I've got to draw that. So I took a photo of it and um, I did actually want to do sort of a large A4 full on drawing of this. But it kind of lends itself very well to an A5 sketch in the sketchbook um, and it didn't take long at all. Um, and obviously the reference photo to this and all of them in fact will be over on Patreon as well. Um, but this one I particularly liked because the sun was kind of really hazy sort of in the, in the background there and it kind of gave this silhouetted effect and with the mist and the sun just coming through in the early morning there was a real atmosphere to the scene it was quite hard to capture in just a little sketch but um, it actually worked out quite well I was quite pleased with the result. I mean, graphite does lend itself very, very nicely to scenes like this with lots of mist in them and silhouetted scenes and things like that. Um, so again, it wasn't difficult to do in this particular medium. Um, even though I was working from a reference photo, sometimes, particularly with very atmospheric landscapes, you know, where there's a lot of mist and hazy sun and that kind of thing, when you take a photo of it, it the photo just doesn't pick up all of the atmosphere in the scene. So I was working from a reference photo where some of the atmosphere had kind of been lost. You know, a lot of the tones get pushed together um, and all that kind of stuff. So a lot of the atmosphere and the general feel of the scene can get lost. But we can use artistic license just to try and recreate that as best as we can. Create a little bit more mist um, than we can actually see in the reference photo um, and all that kind of thing. So I was quite pleased with the way this one turned out. Okay, so we're just about at the end of the video now, just a couple of minutes left. Um, so if you like any of these four sketches, um, they'll all be over on my Patreon channel, full length versions of them. There's lots and lots of other sketches as well. It's not just these four sketches. 
um, was slowly working through a sketchbook um, to get it filled in with a lot of drawings and, and simple sketches like this. And also, if you um, want to take a quick look at my channel, my YouTube channel, and have a look through some of the videos there, you'll get an idea of some of the other drawings, you know, the longer drawings for maybe more advanced and intermediate artists. Um, there's plenty of them there, all in watercolour, mixed media, um, graphite, all sorts. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if you like the video, please give a thumbs up. It really helps, you know, small channels out like mine. Okay, thanks very much. And take care, everybody. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.